The Takuro process is providing a key difference to many stamping operations worldwide. Our unique process is leading the way as it helps to increase productivity and panel quality, reduce or eliminate the need for lubricant, and increase the overall performance and life of the die. This training session will help you understand Tecuro's recommended techniques for safe and successful weld repair on a hard chrome-plated die. Whenever the question arises as to whether or not the chrome has been removed in a worn, damaged, or repaired area, simply wipe copper sulfate on the area in question. A copper color will appear wherever base metal is exposed. As with any type of surface-treated stamping die, occasional damage requiring repair can occur. Whether or not the damage occurred before or after the surface was plated, the following weld practices still hold true. We recommend the following seven steps to safe and successful weld repairing on a hard chrome-plated die. Set up, remove damaged area, clean, preheat, weld peen, work down the weld, and finish. Proper setup of the die and surrounding working area are very important to the outcome of a successful weld. Be sure the die is in an accessible and comfortable position. Good lighting, proper ventilation, and protection for the undamaged area should all be a part of a proper setup procedure. Properly remove the damaged area with a die grinder. Take it back to good metal, approximately one quarter of an inch deep or deep enough to allow for good adhesion and adequate hardness. Remember to keep the repair area as small as possible to minimize chrome loss. It is essential to clean the area about to be welded to remove any rust or oil. Evenly preheat the damaged area only using a torch in a circular motion. Heat the surface to 400 degrees. Up to 500 degrees is allowed. Continue to keep the damaged surface reasonably warm as large die pieces draw the localized heat away quickly. Frequent preheating will boil out oils and lubes that have become absorbed into the casting pores. Be sure to wipe the oils away as you go along because they can cause poor adhesion, increased porosity, and pinholes. Preheating is often taken too lightly, but it is crucial that it be done correctly. We have found that most common welding rods used in die maintenance are compatible with chrome. If there are any reservations about using your preferred welding rod, refer to Takuro's welding rod compatibility chart, or our full service lab can determine the compatibility of any rod not previously tested. Every weld rod should be kept clean, dry, and warm until used. Start with a good underlayment rod, such as EXP-10, and then make four passes with a hard cap chrome compatible rod, such as Eureka 74A. Only weld short passes at a time stopping frequently to peen the weld while it is still cherry red and pliable. If any pinholes or other voids appear at any time, stop and grind out immediately. Neglecting to do this step could result in pinholes appearing along the final surface contour plane. To avoid the shrink sink line around the perimeter, you can utilize the technique of applying your first finish cap pass around the perimeter, thus sealing that area. Begin to work the weld down with a rough grinder. This initial grinding will begin to bring the weld closer to the surface of the die. A semi-finished grinder should be used cautiously to bring the weld as close to flush as possible, within two to three thousandths. Be sure to avoid hitting the surrounding area. Lastly, use a high-speed pencil grinder for final spot grinding and any touch-up that is necessary. Finish the surface flush with the rest of the die surface. For best results, we recommend a 500 grit special chrome repair cherry oil stone. Remember to avoid stoning the undamaged die surface. Then polish with a 600 grit emery paper or a 15 micron sheet. Be sure to clean the surface, 
hand check the weld and scale to assure no highs or lows exist. In the case of a weld repair area, many weld rods will not turn copper color due to the alloy mix involved. Checking the perimeter of a finished weld repair with copper sulfate will indicate any extra chrome loss beyond the repaired area. Some chrome loss is expected due to the peening process. Less than one-eighth extra chrome loss should be the goal. This procedure is successfully being used by many dye people within our customers' plants. However, it requires training and practice to develop or maintain the skills and confidence needed for this effective approach. Takura, worldwide surface treatment specialist. Our process enhances the production of major body components for the world-class leaders in fit and finish. We are the difference.